Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's gonna be the first episode of the modifications to the RC390. I will tell you, out of all three of these bikes, this one has the most character. Uh, I really like riding them, and uh, just an overall fun bike. I would have never suspected when I purchased that bike that I would uh, feel that way because I've, like I mentioned in previous episodes, the majority of my, the Marines in my unit, well not the majority of them, but some of them, died on these little sport bikes because they are absolutely addictive. So I can understand, you know, being 20 year old, 20 year old and full of uh, vim and vigor that these things could uh, get you into trouble. However, I digress. Um, we got a few things we're gonna be working on today. So, here is a part number. Now, this is a navigation kit that was originally designed for the RC390 previous generation. Uh, as some of you know, the 2022s are totally revamped, however, the handlebar design is very similar, so I'm hoping I can adapt the Tom Tom that's over on my sort pylon to the RC390 so I can swap that back and forth between bikes as I need it. Uh, and then of course the always ever famous bobbin kit. I'll leave a link in the description for these. I've yet to find a KTM or Husqvarna that these things don't fit on. They come with two uh, different thread types of bolts. The Swart Pylon, you need to purchase longer bolts if you're keeping your uh, rooster tail fender. But uh, yeah, so we'll start with that. We will get the RC390 up on stands. Oh, I forgot to open this. Hold on. And of course, none of my bikes are complete without this handy dandy little gadget. I really like these, obviously. I've been putting them on all my bikes and uh, you can probably figure out why if you buy some for yourself. So yeah, we're gonna work on these. I can't guarantee you any of this stuff is gonna, especially the navigation stuff, that's not gonna fit. I know that these two items will. So um, let's get started. Like it was meant to be there. You guys are gonna wanna get some of these if you've got a KTM. I think we can get the triple tree on this. Ah, ah, like a glove.
All right, guys, this is gonna work. I have bolted this plate up, it bolts up just fine. However, here's the problem I'm coming across. You see, you have this. This is the TomTom -tom mount. And to bolt it onto here, you have to be able to access these screw holes. And then the other problem is you see how this bolt wants to sit off of there like that. So it's gonna, it's gonna push on the wire. If I spin it around this way, which is backwards from the way it's supposed to be mounted, the screw or the bolt pushes on the wire a lot less. So I could probably get away with like some washers just holding it off, you know, a quarter of an inch so that that wire isn't getting pinched. So that's, kind of where I'm at. So I went to the store and I bought like $20 worth of different hardware in an attempt to hopefully alleviate this issue. Now, the trick here is getting this thing put back together. So I'll basically have to build it. I think I'll have to build it like this. I don't think I can assemble it. I don't think I can assemble this piece onto the bike and then try to run the screws through and make everything work. I don't think I have enough room to get a tool in there. I could be wrong. I'll give it a shot. But anyhow, that's where we're at. wanted to give you guys kind of a bird's eye view here. The lighting in here sucks. I am going to do something about the lighting in here. I need to upgrade the lights. In here. Anyhow, I'm um, testing out with the Nelson Rig uh, magnetic tank bag. Love this tank bag. These were on sale for like half price on Amazon. I don't know if they're uh, that deal is still going on, but I will leave a link in the description. I think it was like 62 bucks shipped or something like that. Awesome little uh, tank bag and they fit perfect on the RC 390s and they hold on like there's no tomorrow. So just test fitting everything here. Uh, you may have noticed that I opted out of trying to get all four of those bolts in there. That was a nightmare. Uh, I took it apart and then um, stuck the bolt down in the middle and then like you saw in the um, time lapse there, I just tightened in that little space with a wrench and that worked out good. So I was able to get this assembled. It's got some black plastic spacers on there. Um, worked out good for 20 bucks worth of hardware. Uh, I was able to make this work. It's gonna work just fine on the 2022 model. And um, there's really not, no interference with the steering or anything. So um, yeah. Good modification if you got an RC390. If you guys are looking for your accessory wires on this RC390, you are gonna be hating life. That's all I could get out, is what you can see there. These two little guys. That should be the ignition switch one. I think it has the blue wire on it. Yeah, blue and red should be accessory too. Fun stuff. Just gotta get this stuff wired in and then uh, we'll test it. If you guys want an easier way to get to all the little wiring that's down in that little pocket. There's one 10 millimeter headed bolt that's holding the coolant reservoir on. You just remove that and then slide the coolant reservoir out of the way. 
So the wiring job on this is a lot more meticulous than on my other bikes because it's such a tight fit for everything. So I basically brought the wires down here and then I'll show you under the bike. So I utilize the factory cross wiring that runs right above the radiator there. There's a little bracket that they run wires. I utilize that and it seems to fit perfect and it's not pulling on the wires too much. So I left quite a bit of slack and everything. So, I mean, you're always gonna have some sort of wiring movement, but I think that'll work out pretty darn good. Now we gotta turn the bike on and test everything so we can cut all that apart and fix it because we didn't wire it correctly. Well, the Tom Tom turned on, so that's a good thing. Let's see if these hand warmers work. Not a bad view. Should work out pretty good. Oh yeah, the hand warmer. Yep. They get nice and hot. I really can't say enough good things about the Oxford kits. They're inexpensive and uh, they are a lifesaver on cold mornings. Notice I've got 300 miles so far. 621 miles to go before I can go past 7,500 RPM on this bike. Yeah, everything's working as it should. Definitely can't complain about that. These are some uh, pretty simple mods, although they're time consuming because you have to get into these really tight spots, especially on these race bikes, everything is just tight. But I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, guys. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. If you found this helpful, please share my content. Um, getting real close to 10,000 subscribers. And I've been on YouTube since 2009. And I started taking it more seriously. Probably around 2015, 2016 and uh, I've been putting out content for quite quite a bit of time since then and quite a few videos so keep in mind that there is a playlist for all of my builds you can go back and check those out uh, if it interests you I've got quite a few ideas for fabrication and when you come across roadblocks how do you fix them and I've figured out a lot of that stuff and it, you might find it helpful in something that you're working on but other than that I hope you guys are staying safe, taking care of each other, and as always, I will catch you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.